Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a really quick video on how to create a single line text in Inkscape and then import that into Carbide Create and uh, use a V-bit to make it look like a V-carve. So we're going to start in Inkscape, click on the text tool, and then just type whatever it is you want. It doesn't matter what font you're using at this point because uh, we're going to convert it right now. So we'll have it select, make sure it's selected and click here and select it and then go up to extensions, text extensions and Hershey text. And you can see there are quite a few options here. Uh, we'll just do this one just to show you what it looks like. So El EMS Elfin, it's kind of wonky. Um, we could close and then we can hit Control Z to undo that. And then again, make sure it's selected. Go back and we'll do a, a normal, a normal looking font. So this EMS readability is one of them. There, there are others. There's cursive type fonts as well. So once we have that, just have to hit save and then open that up in Carbide Create or import it. Import it, not open it. And we'll just center that up. If we unselect it, you can see that it's just a bunch of open vectors other than the O and the dot. So select that and go to Tool Pass. Contour, not V carve, contour. Use the current selection. Change the offset direction to no offset. Change your tool to a V bit. I'm just going to use a 90 degree V bit here. And click OK. And then this max depth is something you'll have to mess around with to get get it to look like you what you want. Click OK and we'll show simulation so that 0 0.08 you can see is pretty deep and everything's kind of running together and it doesn't look very good. So let's go back and edit that and we'll change this to uh, 0 0.03, somewhere around 0 0.0304 for this particular size of this particular text. I think looks the best. Show you what that looks like. Maybe. There we go. So that doesn't look too bad. Um, now if you look here, this, the Y and the R are really close together and they're actually running together. So we can easily fix that. Just select these letters, hit shift and the right arrow and move it over. Uh, try three. Um, actually that shift, it, it's dependent on what your uh, grid spacing is. Mine is set at 0.25 right now. So go back to tool pass and take a look at that. That looks better. Anyway, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.